This is Spike. Well, hi, Spike. So, Spike. Let's talk about Spike. Spike is a monster. What? A monster? A monster. You live with a cat, you call the cat a monster? Pretty much at this point, I just call him bastard. He doesn't even go by Spike. That's terrible. Okay, so when was the last time you actually referred to him as Spike? Oh my God, years ago. Yeah, oh. his name is Bastard. <laughs> I, I mean, that I find really uh, <laughs> very telling. I don't make a difference between humans and cats. If I walked up to you and called you idiot, then that might affect our relationship. Just because a cat doesn't understand English doesn't mean they don't understand. When was it that you started to realize there was a problem? Once he was a year old, I was like, something's not right with this cat. He was biting when he was a kitten, and I thought he would just grow out of it. And as he got older, the biting wasn't cute anymore, and it started to hurt. Recently, I'd say the last year or two, I've been keeping him outside. I got him a house outside. For a year or two? Yeah, it's just not safe for both of us to be inside together. You guys live completely separate lives at this point, huh? Right. You can't have a relationship with the animal in your life if they live in a different area. To me, that's imminently dangerous because of the weather and cars. This is no place for Spike to be living. When was the last time he was at the vet? Well, I cannot get him in a carrier to bring him to the vet. The one and only time he's been seen by a vet is at six months old. Wow. Okay, so I got all the information I'm gonna get from you. Now I'm gonna get some information from Spike. My mind is all over the place. I'm looking at Samantha who's telling me that Spike is a monster, that he's unpredictable, that it's random attacks. And in the meantime, Spike is sitting right behind my head and I'm not feeling all that scared. So it's time for me to introduce myself to Spike and see what the real deal is. Wanna give a smell? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, see that's not so bad. How about this? Can I touch? Can I touch? When I try to pet him, he'll scream and try to bite me. Hi, buddy. Hi. I feel like he's scared right now. I'm sorry, he doesn't look scared to me. So here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna give you this camera and I want you to video everything, okay? Anything that you can in terms of your interactions with him, I want you to get, okay? okay? Record everything. I don't think he's the cat you think he is. Really? I could be wrong, and you could prove me wrong. I wanna see what your relationship looks like. Do you think I should try to pet him or stay away from petting? Did you watch the way I was petting him? Yes. Okay, stick around here, right? Just his right? face. Just like I did, and let him tell you what he likes. He told me right away, right? I did a little bit of this and he leaned into me. That's him saying, I like that. And then be very aware when you start seeing his tail go. That's his sign of saying, I'm getting stimulated. The last straw of your relationship was the point where you transitioned Spike into being pretty much an outdoor cat. Now you guys are never together, ever. Ever. That we gotta change up. I want you to be able to live in the house with him at the same time. Now, the other thing I wanna leave you is the toy because I really think that this is the key to your relationship, okay? Okay. I want you to get into the habit of playing with him every day. This is all about Samantha getting a better grip on Spike and at the same time, him loosening his grip on her by playing with an actual toy and not her leg. What I want you to do for your homework, this is the most important thing that you're gonna do. I want you to erase bastard. I don't want you to call him that anymore. And I want you to tell everybody else, it's dead. No more. Spike. His name is Spike. I want you guys to have a relationship again. Let's take a look at the homework that I have for you. Here is how not to play with your cat 101. You can't just dangle a stick and call that play. Can I try to pet you? I just wanted to say hello to you. Come on, ow! Mom. There's a vicious cycle that I'm seeing where, first of all, there's a lot of emphasis on petting. And secondly, you guys don't really take the hint. If I can pet Spike, he's a nice cat. If I can't pet Spike, he's a demon. I can't pet Spike, he's a demon. The whole family is that way. There's too much emphasis on petting. 
So I just woke up and saw there was some snow on the ground and I'm gonna go let Spike inside now. I feel bad he has to stay outside in the snow, but can't have him inside attacking me. Come on, you know exactly what I'm gonna say, right? No. No? You absolutely didn't listen to me. What was the thing I wanted you to do? Call him Spike. No. There's something that's not adding up here in her head. Yes, I'm looking at pictures of your cat outside when I told you not to do it. I told you I didn't want him to go outside anymore. I want him to be an indoor cat. You don't remember? I do remember. Why did, you absolutely didn't listen to me. There's no way that we can get a hold of who he is and how to fix what's going on with him if he's living half a life of an outdoor cat, half a life of an indoor cat. You guys, come on, follow me. Why is this still here? That's Spike's house. No, it's not Spike's house. No, this is not Spike's house anymore. This is not Spike's house. That is Spike's house. This is trash, man. Are you hearing me? I, I hear I need you. you to hear me. If he doesn't live here, he might as well be a stray. Hey, let's go back in, it's cold. Ooh, ooh, come on. Seriously. Well, hi. Hello. How are you? We got something to talk about, don't we? I'll explain, come on in. Oh, hey there. How are you? Hey, I'm Jackson. I'm Steve. Steve, good nice to meet you, man. Good Hi, to see nice you to again. Nice to see you. Yeah, same here. Hi. How's life? So, Samantha, time to come clean. Last time I was here, I tossed that feral cat house in the trash, and it's back again. Why is that house out there? Well, I took the cat house out of the garbage just in case Spike got outside so okay. he would have a place to stay. Just in case? Just in case. But are you letting him outside? He has been 100% inside. Go girl. That's fantastic. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. So I would love to go over your video homework with you and see what you guys have been up to. Whoa, that's a jump. <laughs> now you're playing. <laughs> Just pat the top of your head, Spike. Good boy. I love what you did there. Samantha didn't just go to pet Spike and have him make that little turn, but she kept her hand there, allowed him to smell it and say, okay, you're not a threat. If she would have pulled her hand away, would have been a different story altogether. 